Let's get started with your first document for yearbook. Before we open a new one, let's do one adjustment in the InDesign Preferences under Units and Increments. We're going to go in and set the horizontal and vertical measurement to millimeters rather than points. Points is an, a very small measurement that is used in layout and typography in particular. And you may get to where you really like to use it, uh, but millimeters makes more sense for most of us to start with. Now that that's set, go ahead and choose a document. And we are indeed intending to print this document. By default, most of the time, we're going to be working on a spread of two pages. And then what is the start page for your set? Most of the time, the left-hand page will be an even number page. So you'll almost always be starting with even numbers. Let's say I'm doing the first spread in the book after the opening title page. We'll start with page number two, but set that to whatever page you're starting with. And then we're going to create a custom page size here. The width for our pages is 225 millimeters and the height is 320 millimeters. This is a standard yearbook size and we're going to call this a yearbook page. Add that to our list and then OK. And from now on, you'll just be going, able to go in and choose yearbook page and it will automatically fill in those details. If you're going to be using columns on this page, you can preset the number of columns and you can change that later. I like to start with four columns on my page, but sometimes I work in five or eight. Set that to whatever you need. Default margins, and then the bleed and the slug. We'll talk more about the bleed and the slug later, but for now, set this to five millimeters, and you'll notice that all of the bleed boxes say five millimeters. That's because this link box is checked. The slug we won't worry about. We don't need a slug now, so we'll leave that blank, and then we'll say OK. And now you can see I have my spread of two pages. It's been preset into four columns for me already. My margin is all already set. And then this uh, space here between the edge of the page and the red line is the bleed. And that is for items that are going to be uh, coming off of the edge of the page. If the photograph should go right up to the edge of the page, we use the bleed and we pull the photograph all the way out to that bleed line so that when they cut our pages, there's color all the way to the edge. If we only put in a photograph right up to the edge, there's a possibility when they cut it that they would cut just a little bit too much paper and we'd have a white line on the outside of one or both of the edges of our photograph. By making it go all the way out to the bleed, we ensure that there is no possibility there'll be any white paper on that edge. The photograph will always go all the way out. So your page is now set up, ready to start putting in text elements, to start inserting uh, pictures using the place command, or just dragging and dropping them in from our drive with all of our photos. You're ready to start having fun, and we'll get into lots of detail about how to do that in the next few videos.